Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, I wasn't sure when I made the thumbnail who was going to be joining me, <laughs> but I was like hopeful. And Jesse was able to make it, which is very exciting. Hi. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. That's yeah. Always fun. Actually, yeah. Um, I should, while I'm thinking about it, <laughs> add your name and channel to the video description. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And while I do that, why don't you introduce yourself to all everyone right. who doesn't I'm already not, know you? I don't have Angela to, to help me out. Tonight. I know. You got to do it all by yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, hey, I'm Jesse. My channel is uh, The Bookish Mom, and I read mostly sci-fi fantasy. I've been trying to do more one-off book reviews, but uh hasn't been going too well. I do a lot of, if you like this trope, these are five books that you should read type videos. <laughs> So those are kind of my main thing yes. that I do. On YouTube. You do lots yeah. of things. I do, I but... do lots of things. I have a mom blog and weird stuff. <laughs> you work in marketing. I mean, you do, I do. stuff. It's always amazing. I love it. Always busy. Um, it makes me feel like less like an outlier for doing too many things. <laughs> I feel like if I don't have enough on my plate, like something's wrong. Same, same. I don't know what that says about us. But, I um, yes. My husband's like, just relax. Just, I'm like, I can't do like, that. Relax. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you mean for content purposes? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, relax. I'd be like, I have stuff to do. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So, hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. hello. Hey, Renee. Hello. Um, glad people are excited. Ooh, coffee and chocolate. Right. Love that. Hi, Michelle. Hello, reading room. Hi, Carissa. Why well, we got a lot of people here? Hey, Malka. Amy, Chantal, Heather. Man, lots of yeah. people. Hello. Yes. Oh. Coho. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, I'm sure. She is everywhere right now. <laughs> right? Um, yeah. No, this should be fun. So we were just saying we have both tried to kind of avoid looking at it. Like I've seen a couple things accidentally on Twitter, but I haven't really yeah. looked at the list. So genuinely we'll be reacting. Yeah, this is this there. is blind. <laughs> I know it came out a while ago, but I've had it in my head of like, oh, this I should this would be fun. Hey Jessica. Yeah, I mean, I'm hopeful that there will be some some standouts so we'll see yeah it'll be fun to talk about it's always fun to look at the stuff mm -hmm. yes but she sold more books than the bible in the last year apparently <laughs> that was the headline i saw it's it is wild yes yep um <clears throat> good point it can only be the one it can only be <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> listen if she sells books of course they're going to Hello, right sydney love it uh, okay, fair, probably. Fair. Mm -hmm. Hello, cool gamer. Hey, Isabella. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm so glad people are appreciating this. <laughs> Train wreck, I mean, probably. I mean, probably it'll probably be a mixed bag. I'm yeah. guessing. Like, I'm expecting a mixed bag. Mm. Good question. So we'll see. Because I feel like Goodreads we're going to get in a couple of weeks. So maybe we can compare. Yeah. Which will be interesting. Hello. It will be. Oh, cool. Oh, not um, many people do. Yeah. And everyone spells it wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Hooverville. Hooverville. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Excited for the one fan. Okay. No I one. don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be that bad because I do think they have a sci-fi fantasy section. Like, I think it's divided. I, I think. think just the only reason I know this is because I've seen, I saw an author tweet that their book was among some other books okay. in that genre. So, like, I know of at least one that's on the list, which I'm excited about. But can it be worse than Goodreads? <laughs> Renee. Mm. Right. <laughs> Good question. Yes. I mean, this is always the problem with titling things. Mm -hmm. Best, right? Like, is it the best or is it best selling? How are we determining that most popular, which is always true on Goodreads too. Right. I mean, yeah. But it's like, how did they determine this? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Well, 
what? That is mind boggling. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so wild. <laughs> yes. It can. It can. Oh. Hey. Hello. Oh, it's Blair. Oh my gosh, I love all these comments. If they don't stock it, it can't oh well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. True. Hopefully not all. I'm sure that would be like <laughs> Yeah, I think it is not reader's choice. No. I don't believe. No. I'm guessing it's like a mix. The, my, the, I don't think they tell us. We will look and see yeah. if they give us. But I don't think they tell us. I'm guessing it's a mix of top bestsellers plus corporate choices. Probably. Or like whoever's curating the list. That would be my guess. Um, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yeah. General reading population shopping at Barnes and Noble are going to be more than the James Patterson made. Perhaps. I mean, it also depends on the demographics of the store. Yeah. Right? Like where they are. So I don't know. I know. Isabella. Is, <laughs> okay. Isabella wants me. <laughs> she was in my patron discord like, Bethany, you should read the new Colleen Hoover book. And I'm like, oh. I don't know. I had such a bad experience before. Yeah, but I'm you like, did. I'm like, maybe if enough people try to convince me, maybe I'll do it and vlog it. But I'm, I don't know. We'll see. More Hello. power to you. <laughs> I'm actually doing okay. Like I, yeah. um, I was, still, I was telling Jesse, my youngest kid came home early Friday with a fever and was like really sick. He's fine, fine now. Going back to school tomorrow. Um, but then today I had a low grade fever and I'm not really that mm. sick. I feel fine. I took some ibuprofen. Um, a little under the weather. Yeah. <laughs> but, the mom yeah. life. Uh, yes. That is an interesting take. I'm not sure what this is related to, but oh, oh, the James Patterson yeah. thing, maybe. I'm guessing. Possible. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I was at the yes. library book sale today, and there was <laughs> so much James Patterson at this library book sale. Oh, man. It was wild. <laughs> and I'm like trying to dig for sci fi fantasy. Oh, man. Wow. Book talk, I mean, book talk does sell books, but I feel like there are certain kinds of books that sell with book talk. And Barnes mm -hmm. and Noble is not all book talk people. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, True, but they do have like a whole thanks, table. Renee, if you want. I appreciate that. You want me to like what I <laughs> what I read. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Another vote to read a blog. <laughs> oh man. I mean, people, it would I'm sure it would get clicks. Right. <laughs> save yourself <laughs> maybe i need a poll <laughs> right should i read oh you know what actually here let's do this i think i can do a poll in here oh i think should so. bethany read <laughs> the new coho book for content for content for purposes <laughs> Not for enjoyment purposes. No, for content pur I mean, let's be real. It would be for it would be thoroughly for be content pur purposes. Okay, here you go. Vote. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I'm curious. I don't know that I'll necessarily do what y'all say, but I'm I'm just I'm curious to curious. see. Think, you know, we're very split here. Right. Um, it wouldn't be a library for sale so without right. him. Oh, oh, that's interesting, right? Hmm, very interesting. I wonder again if it depends on uh, where it is. Oh, I love how right now it's like seventy-one percent no. <laughs> People <laughs> like you. Yeah, it does. I'll give it a couple more minutes. Uh, interesting. Hmm. It wasn't that bad, and you will start interesting discussions. Okay, okay, I hear you. I hear you. Interesting. Has anyone here actually read it? That's the question. I, you know, Isabella, I've got to say, I feel like my audience is probably like heavily people who don't read Coho, which is fine. But, um, but yeah, I, <laughs> but I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, I think she, well, cause like it's the sequel to a book that I read from her and oh yeah the conversations are important but i hated the way she tackled them i just thought they were so poorly <laughs> done so it's it's interesting um i bet it will i bet there's oh, gonna yeah. be i think i'm expecting that i would expect case. that too yeah <laughs> 
Eastern Canada does not have BNN. Okay, okay. Oh, but people are like, no, don't, don't do it. it. It's important that you have for content. I mean, it, listen, it would 100% be for content. No, right. Because we like you too. <laughs> but I mean, you'd get some views. Like, I know, I know. Um, it's the constant struggle. Yeah. Tell us everything. Okay, you know what? This is what I did in the first vlog. I was heavily spoilery. So you, if you don't want to read those two, like Verity and It Ends With Us, you you literally could just watch my vlog. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero desire to read them. And then after watching your vlog, I had less, less than zero desire. desire. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I think I like, Verity was the only one that I was like, maybe yeah, sounds a that... little more interesting, mm -hmm. but like still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, at... Yeah. I mean, but I get why, like, I get why she sells so well, honestly, oh, yeah. but like, yeah, not my. I know a lot of people like in my real life that are not big readers Yes, that I have seen reading Coho books. <laughs> yes. Like my 23 year old niece. And I'm like, when do you read? Yeah. I know these these comments are I'm killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is amazing! Oh my god, um, this whole I love this it. Is really hilarious. <laughs> and Isabella, I know you're trying to be serious. Like, has anyone actually read it? I mean, like, no. fair, it like may. I mean, maybe. So I've heard that one before. Though. Oh no. Uh, there is a lot. There's a lot. I, you know, what's funny? I saw somebody um like post a thing on on instagram saying like like green flag this is a like a, it starts green. with us oh God. that's the best <laughs> i know we're supposed to be talking about barnes and noble but like but you changing. know it is yeah that's so interesting maybe, mm. it was. maybe she got a ghostwriter because she can afford it right that's interesting <laughs> Bethany's insanity versus, versus our entertainment. Our entertainment. <laughs> you know, people are like pretty nice. I love that it's like sixty nine percent no. Y'all are like, uh, like clearly more interested in me enjoying things and your health. Um. Oh no! Only oh. co. You know what? I think I got that email too, and it was just an automatic delete. Yeah, that's. I don't know that their recommendations are great, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like Barnes and Noble, you kind of have to like search for what you're interested in. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, oh, okay. And one independent bookstore with an attitude <laughs> about romance, not the independent bookstore with no. an attitude about romance. Oh, oh wow. no. I was thrilled when, because, like, one of my local indies is The Strand, and, like, a couple years yeah. ago, they finally put in a romance section, oh. which it was, because I was asking, and it, they would have a few scattered in between their general fiction, and I was mm. like, seriously? So they finally put in a romance section. I'm like, it's a nice. time. Like, come on now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that wins. Oof. Oof. <laughs> wow. Renee, yes, this is this is my feeling with it. Is mm. yes, the fact that it's under romance. Well, and like Verity's like a thriller. It, yeah, and she just because there are things like that that I think people do in thrillers, and I just don't like that those mm -hmm. kinds of things in thrill my thrillers. Listen, I get why she's popular. Like her books are super easy to read. Like you will fly through them. They just like you drink them down like water, and like they're page turners and for them at least from the two that i've read i feel like they're books where i'm like if you if you aren't thinking too hard about what you're reading you're <laughs> probably gonna enjoy it because you're getting through it quickly and it's a page turner you know what i mean but if you stop and think about it then it's like hmm hmm <laughs> like wait what wait what did i read yeah <laughs> yeah well and, and like wait you're doing what how is that this is what this is the how you're resolving that i mean and i think the problem for me is and maybe part of it is because i can't turn that part of my brain off anymore um i can't just like read it and not think about it so it is unpleasant <laughs> for me so you know 
Yeah. yeah. You know what? They're like, they're like, they're like lifetime movies. It's like, the, oh, yeah. it's like that. It's like, so like, it's fine if people are into it. I just don't, you know, but it's like that. Like, I feel like it's that kind of an appeal. Like, it's like people, like if you enjoy like a lifetime movie, like lots of drama, like it's kind of like that. That's good point. <laughs> We're still on topic. <laughs> like this is turning into a, a Colleen Hoover stream. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, end end the poll. We're at 67 percent no, so you know, not so definitive, but it ends with us. Yeah. So this is the okay. sequel to It Ends with Us, which I did not like. Yeah, I've only read two of her books, Heather, and both of them were for that video. It was this, and it ends with us and Verity, and I did not like either of them. Mm. But um, yep. But people. I, yeah, I think what's hard about it too is I think it ends with us is very emotionally manipulative. And so, and it deals with really rough stuff like uh, domestic violence. And mm. so I think a lot of people feel, I don't know, like emotionally connected to it or seen by it because she's depicting what that looks like. But I don't think she's doing it in a helpful way mm. and the ending was horrifying to me so <laughs> it was basically like yeah um oh no it is not a made-up plot line in no. books renee no alas if only yeah <laughs> they'll finally care yeah hey no. Oh, oh yeah. that's great. Oh my gosh. Danielle Steele. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can I can see that. I think she has like yeah. I never really read a lot of Danielle Steele, so I don't I know haven't. if I can like compare, but um yeah. I haven't either, be. but I see her books at like the grocery store. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not to rush the pro okay, Martha. <laughs> Okay, I hear you. I Getting hear us you. On we'll track. get to the actual list. Thank you. Thank you. Getting us and on the 33% track. The 33% are trolling. <laughs> Can't get Kermis one of the 33%. Y'all are a mess in the comments tonight. <laughs> this is great. Yes, she has a mm -hmm. Lifetime movie in book four. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically what it is. Same trolling <laughs> It's okay. I mean, you know, like people may hey. enjoy it. It's fine. Hey, Beth. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They probably made Lifetime movies oh. off Daniel. So maybe Coho is like the new Daniel Steele. And in another 20 years, they're going to be making Lifetime movies <laughs> from It Ends With Us. <laughs> right. Like, that's like, you know, like, I feel like that's, that's what we're going to get. Okay. Okay. I mean, listen, like, like what you like. I like it's I, I like I, I guess that's the thing. It's, it's like, I don't want to like shame anybody who enjoys her. No. Life. Like, I think that's fine. They are just not my cup of tea. Um, my stepmom used to read all the Danielle Steele and Nora Roberts books all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. I enjoy some Nora Roberts. Books. Yeah. I have some that yeah. I've enjoyed. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull up Barnes and Noble. And we will actually Ooh. get going. She is the new Danielle Steele. Okay. Okay. She fixed it or at least. Oh. Mm. Okay. Um, the thing with the custody was a big issue I had mm. with the, that ending. So that is interesting to know. I might at least like read some reviews of it. We'll see. But yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. That's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Jessica. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I love okay. it. All right. Let me. I, I did not like pull this up this <laughs> time. So uh, here we go. All right. All right. Barnes and Noble. I was looking at what are their buy one, get one half. Right. <laughs> I always am like, let me check. Okay. Are we going to let me time. click? Why are we not letting me? Oh. Because it does that weird thing. Mm. Hold on. Let me... Gotta love technology. I, I let me fix this. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. Isabella text me, tell me, and I will I'll check that out. Okay. Are we going to go take me to the best? Okay. Now it's going to best books of the year. I don't. 
Maybe it's because I'm streaming and it's like, we don't want. Oh, maybe. Okay. Top 10 books. Okay. So we have sections. <laughs> okay. okay. So we can look at top 10 best fiction, best mysteries, best sci-fi fantasy. Okay. So there's like a lot of stuff. So I don't know. Do we want to like start, yeah. start at the top? Yeah. Okay. So top 10 books of 2022. Um, I'm glad Definitely. my mom died. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yes. I'm have not surprised about that one. I yeah. haven't yet and I want to. And I don't even typically read like memoirs and nonfiction often, but I need to get my hands on this one. You should. It's good. And the, she reads the audiobook. Yeah. It's good. I want the audio um, version. And I don't even typically like listen to audiobooks often, but that just it's a really good memoir. And I don't I wasn't even really familiar with her. I'm a little too old for like the iCarly yeah. thing. Um like I yeah. knew who she was because like my daughter actually recently got into yeah. watching like iCarly and the Sam and Cat or whatever on like Netflix. Mm -hmm. But like I was too old when it came uh, out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, same. That's so interesting. Yeah, kudos to Jeanette. Honestly, mm -hmm. that was a good one. Um, yeah, Chris, the, the website is not great. <laughs> Everyone's like, there's Coho. <laughs> there is. Yeah, we saw Coho. <laughs> yeah, it is disturbing, but I thought it was it was good. Oh, yeah. A world has anyone heard oh. anyone read this? The I've never even Louise heard of Penny? it. That you're but this is a good point. There's no rating. How did it make top 10? Honestly. Yes. Yeah, that's great question. So strange. Great, great question. I chaos. <laughs> it's probably chaos. It's I don't know. Chaos. Is it out yet? That is a good. Oh. oh okay. So can I let's is pull it? it up on the quick ad and find out. Um, pre-order. So pre it's not even out yet. So they're calling it best book of the year. So this is maybe by pre-orders. Maybe. Yeah, must be by sa yeah, it might be by sales. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I like. I remember when it got big. I was just like a little out of that demographic mm -hmm. um, by a few years. But yeah, the memoir is is definitely worth a read. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, this is good to know. Like, it is very yeah. graphic in the way it talks about eating disorders and stuff, as well as, like, self-harm and addiction. So it is intense. So definitely be aware of the yeah. uh, content warnings if you're if that's going to be triggering. Um, for sure. Yes, Our Missing Hearts yeah, also that just, just came released. out. I have not read it yet, but it's the, mm -mm. I, honestly, it's the first list Ing I'm kind of interested in because <laughs> I think it's kind of fantastical a little bit. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Louise Penny is part of a hugely popular oh. series. Okay. Okay. Good to know. That makes uh, that makes sense at least. Yeah. I've never heard of her. <laughs> I'm guessing this this must be by by pre orders or something. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Like every CBS show, there are apparently millions consuming. That's, oh wow! That's so and I don't know one of them. That is yeah. I, that's interesting. Best book not yet. Not even out yet. Best books. Are, so I don't think it's best. I think it's like best selling. It has to be. I, that's my. That is my assumption. Um. So Babel. That yay! Surprise me at all. It doesn't me either. Babel. I am so pleased. I'm finally. I am reading it. Um. Yay. Since uh, Angela since you were came fully to done. Into it. <laughs> I'm on Angela's side with that one because it was it's so fair. good. It is really good. So I, I am now a few chapters into it. So um, meanwhile, I've also started a buddy read with Angela. So I'm like, you need to read Babel, but also I'm reading Genesis Misery with you. So um, right. decide what you want. No, it's fine. I'm like, I'll read all the books. Read all the things. <laughs> oh, man. Um, maybe. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Renee, I'm with you. Same. Uh, you know what? I It is... I don't know. It, hmm. Like, it's really about her, like, the trauma of growing up with an abusive narcissistic mom who pushed mm -hmm. her into show business as a child. So, like, yeah, I don't know how that sounds to you, but it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Other. Oh. Oh, oh, my yes. God. Yes. 
Uh, I tell you that? It's like, okay, okay, okay. Delightful trash needs to be a category. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Agreed. Man. Um, okay, good to know. Oh, that's I, good. So I have it on audio. It's one of the influencer um, review copies from Libra FM this month. So I grabbed oh. it because I was like, oh, this actually sounds interesting. Yes. It's I so good. Apple. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I don't know about this other one, the rabbit. Yeah, I don't know what touch. that is. There, it's the Barnes and Noble Discovery Prize winner, which I have not heard anyone talk about. But that. it makes me wonder if that's why they put it on Best Books of the Year, just because mm. it's their pick for like being really good. That makes um, sense. So I'm like, I think like four chapters in. It's pretty interesting. It's very interesting. Five copies. <laughs> I yes. got three. I got two. <laughs> Do I got two or three? No, I have two and an ebook. Okay, I have three in an audio book. <laughs> so, yeah. No. I will keep them all. No, I, am, I won't watch it. I I'm not going to watch it. I love Leanna, but I do not like <laughs> her watching her rip things I love to shred. So, you know what? This is like the good self-care thing. This mm -hmm. is how you, like, be friends with people where you have different tastes. <laughs> yes. Is like, if they make a video negatively talking about a thing you love, just don't watch it. You just don't watch it. You just, just don't watch it. You just you let it play on mute. Right. Give it a thumbs up mm -hmm. so it gets the engagement and the watch mm -hmm. time. Exactly. Don't listen. Yeah. And then you can still be friends. No, I mean we'd be friends anyway. It's fine. Right. So I mean because like but it's it's fine. Like she's funny about stuff, but we have different tastes. Our rants are funny when it's like one you don't like as well. <laughs> you're like, yes. I would read every book in delightful trash. That's great. <laughs> You know what? She, I mean, she has points. She does. Always. I just usually, it's, it's just that if it's something that I love, I'm like, yeah, you're not wrong. I just don't care. I love it. Anymore. Yeah. That's <laughs> like, how that's, I am too. I'm that's like. That's like usually what I come with. But I'm not done with it yet anyway. Yeah. So like maybe once I've read it and have some distance, I might watch it. Um, but at the moment. <laughs> yes. Yes. hundred percent. hundred percent. Uh, that makes that's interesting. Interesting. She does. She, she likes first she, law. She loves first law. She likes name of the Elm and bastard series. Oh, yes. She, I mean, she's liked quite a lot of things. It's just that, like, she gets known for the things she hates. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's passionate. Yeah, whether she loves it or hates it, yes. she's passionate. Like she's rarely in the middle. Yeah. Um, I love this Megan. That's hilarious. Yeah. No, she's she's great. Only engage in negativity if you Do you agree with it? <laughs> yes. Or if you're emotionally, like, okay with it. Like, it's not even that I have to disagree. Like, if it's a book that I liked but don't have strong feelings about, mm -hmm. I can watch a negative review. I'm like, yeah, okay, I didn't care as much, but sure. But if it's a thing that I love, yeah. then I'm like, I don't know if I really, like, because if it's just going to make me angry, why am I doing that? Because that's, <laughs> that's how I feel about people who come on to videos where I'm clearly marketing it as a negative review of a book and they're like this is my favorite book and i'm like why did you watch my video right like are you trying to change my mind <laughs> you know or... i mean i have far fewer of those than leanna does but still, right like, it's just yeah she's had yeah. to take videos down yeah Kristen, good to... oh yeah yeah no I like the way people react to stuff sometimes as well the rabbit hutch is shortlisted for national book Award. okay okay, oh. okay so maybe we're just not you know what we're just probably not in the like literary circles mm -hmm. not it not at all get this over and we're gonna see oh this is such uh, an interesting list right for top 10 books of the year very interesting that's fair that's fair youtube does love the rants they do <laughs> <laughs> This is not actually true, but I. But, how can you see? Me? Oh, super, huge hey, fan. Man. You know what? Honestly, I was supposed to be on a thing about Rings of Power, and like everyone else on the thing hated it, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> not be on this. You will have more fun dunking on it if I am not there as the only person who didn't hate it. Right. See, I haven't uh, watched it yet, but like honestly, yeah. I mean, it has I, like there are fair criticisms to be made. Yeah. Um, but I don't, hey, anyway, I, I think for my other channel, I'm going to make a video talking about it. <laughs> so, that will come. Be coming. Uh, the red blob book, the red blob book. Oh, the, the song oh. of the cell. 
an exploration of medicine and the new human by Siddhartha Mukherjee. I have not heard of this at all. This is such a weird list, y'all. That sounds like something you'd read in like pre-med or like. Yeah. I'm like, how is, are these the top 10 books of the year? This is so strange. That's just because it's required reading <laughs> for med school. Like, let's be real. Yeah. It's one of those five hundred dollar textbooks <sighs> that you don't ever open. The Michelle Obama book is an Audi. So, are we okay? Here's my question then: Is their top ten books really just a way to get pre orders? That's what it seems like. Like this is what I'm thinking at this point. This is what I think. Oh mm. no! Okay, I liked Lies of Locke Lamora. But I didn't love it as much. I should, like, I do like it. Yeah. Though. I haven't I read that one it's yet. Good. It's, I mean, it's good. You'd probably enjoy it. Hey, Amanda. Hi. And it's it embargoed. And embargoed. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, this has it to must be based on, on like. Orders. Thank you, Megan. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> uh, lessons in chemistry. I've seen it around. I haven't heard anything about it. Mm -mm. So I don't that know. last one looks cute, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's that in looks a really middle long grade. Running, it, it is middle grade. It's in a long running series. So it's interesting to me that it's a popular enough series that it's gotten that many pre orders. Yeah, yeah. This is kind of bonkers, to be honest. Anne. Yay. I love it. This smells like privilege. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Honestly. Yeah. Um, okay. What's the other one? Prisoners of the Castle, the Nazi Fortress Prison. What? What is this? Is another nonfiction? Such... Okay. That's it. So that's the top 10 books. This is worse than Goodreads. Right. <laughs> Maybe it gets. Maybe it but... can be worse than Goodreads. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, Malka, exactly. Yeah, is, like, as I'm like, how, so I know weird. two titles, like. This is a very weird. Uh, did Liana say she liked the new adapt adaptation of Persuasion? Oh, my God. I haven't even I watched it because I think it would just make me angry. Speaking of not watching things that do things I will not like with things I love, uh, you know. Um, Every list is a marketing yeah, stunt, I mean, totally. honestly, I feel like that's what it is. It, it, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. Ooh, is she? Oh. Because <laughs> uh, it gets a lot of press and like push. And uh. was, it, was this the one that was like in. Um, Oh, it is the first in the series. Oh, I mean, it looks yeah. super cute. Like it looks something like something I would pick up for my daughter if I saw it at the store. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks fun. This is hundred percent, hundred percent marketing. And As somebody that works in marketing, agreed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Somebody heard good things about Song of the Cell, which isn't out until Tuesday. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Liza Lacklemora like is a very it's it drags through the first mm. third of it. To be honest, it gets a lot better later on. So I understand DNFing it. Yeah. Um, but it does get better. It's just really long. It's one of those that I put off because, like, I know it's taken a million years for the third book to, like, even think about coming out. The fourth one? Or, yeah. Is it the yeah. fourth one? Mm -hmm. It's not finished, and we don't know when, Correct. if it will be. Correct. Yeah, I agree. I think this is probably a pre-order campaign. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where are we? You know... Um. I got to say, honestly, uh, good reviews in a Facebook group is not like a thing that sells me on something because I don't know how I feel about Facebook these days. It is an terrifying. Place. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> shocking. I know. Right. Steve, right. Yes. So shocking. That is no, this is not the top 10 list. Best books of the year. This is. Um, I thought it was good. <laughs> I know who would have thought Goodreads could go right. through. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, this, this is terrible. Oh I'm hoping that the sci fi fantasy will be better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yay. yay. Oh, I'm glad to hear. Okay. Yes. I am going to do a video on it on my new media channel. So, yeah. I, I did film a video, but I feel like I could do better. I feel like it was just kind of like. <laughs> like getting my thoughts out and I'm like I think I might refilm that um so stay tuned
Yes. Um, <laughs> I think this is accurate, Heather. 100%. I know. We haven't even made a Yeah. We are, yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah, like, most like, of them aren't even out. Like, what is this list? I. Like, yeah. What happened in January? Like. <sighs> yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I mean, okay, so they got a seven-figure book and movie. T- I mean, Whoa. listen, like this is like like. Would be nice. <laughs> I'm assuming this is related to Marvelers, which <clears throat> I mean to be a little bit controversial. Like I read and I liked it, but like also Noah Mari. Mm-hmm. You know, Mari was so good. Yeah. Anyway, just yeah. <laughs> um. Yep. Yeah. This is fair, Elizabeth. I guess. Oh. The best. That haven't, come out yet. Do that haven't come out yet. So please keep <laughs> spending money, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, lessons in chemistry might be good. I just don't know. Like, it's not really my genre. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. I think lessons in chemistry was. Oh, wow. that makes sense. I think that is correct. Top ten to pre-order. Someone's adapting it. Oh, that would also do it. Yeah, no romance. Listen, there's a lot of things that are not on this list, right? <laughs> no, Sarah <That's> Janet. So <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a better title. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, with oh. interesting. Okay, all right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Best fiction. Do we care about best fiction? I don't read this genre. I don't read also, a lot of. If people want to comment, here is yeah the best fiction. I have not read any a of these. Single one, and I think our missing hearts is the only one that I'm interested in reading. Let's look. Oh, I do want to read tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I have I've that. heard good things about that one. Have, yeah, yeah, I have too. And that one I have from also from Book of the Month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yes, we will get there, Elizabeth. Agreed. That is like, oh. the one thing I knew was on there. Uh, yes. Also, no. <laughs> of course, Leanna hated <laughs> lessons. She was. I'm like, uh. Oh, they're mm. bloodthirsty unicorns? That's fun. I mean, I mean that like, does sound fun. Yes. Is a yes. I'm kind of wanting to read about these bloodthirsty unicorns. Now. I know. I'm like, bloodthirsty unicorns. Maybe I need unicorns. to get that book. That sounds fun. Butcher and the Wren has the worst reviews I've ever seen. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Lessons is bad. Okay. People have thoughts. Candace Cardi Williams people pretty yeah I don't know anything about any of these to be honest no. other than tomorrow 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 I want to read um because it's like involves gaming so I was like sure yeah that was like the one <laughs> thing I was like ooh. I hope so that's good to know I need to read it like it's on my list of things yes yeah that yeah, that's yeah. what gets my interest too mm-hmm. <laughs> I know Renee we're like you read more than I do. <laughs> like, that's things, impressive. You know? She read like Renee reads a lot. Like you think I read a lot? <laughs> Renee reads a lot. <laughs> so, I'm like lucky if I get through like five books a month. Like. Oh, okay. Okay. The person, the author of Queenie. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That's right. I another book that I have not read but mean to read. Oh, it yeah. does say right there. Bestselling author of Queenie. What is this one about? I don't even know. Let's see. I don't know, but the cover's pretty. I like the colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, witty and insightful novel about the power of family, even when they seem like strangers. If you could choose your family, you wouldn't. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that has a good cover, actually. It does. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. But I think I remember reading the description and I was like, that cover l- lied to me. Yes. Based on a real life event, an epic historical novel um, about a girl shipwrecked on an island off Western something or other. Yeah. It's like, it's like oh. historical fiction. Like it looks like pretty and fantastical. It is. Right. Not. It's. That it would is. suck me in if I was like, oh, buying yes. just for the cover. I'd be like, this is about 
a magic ship or like and yes and it is not about that so it, i don't know how good that marketing is um that is <laughs> fair <laughs> that is fair that's fair cool make just a bit more sense yeah the first five yeah the first five yeah. make a bit more sense yes yeah i haven't either but i, I don't either. read general fiction very much at all honestly. yeah i really what's your book was fine for a debut hmm Oh, plagiarist. Oh, whoa. Okay. I am not familiar with this. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, see, at <gasps> 400. Yep. Yeah, mm hmm. That's what I'm saying. I might hit 400 this year, maybe by the end of the year. We'll see. But yeah. I am blown away. I need these superpowers, y'all. One book that made you cry. Oh, that's great. Oh, okay. Okay. Seven figure movie deal. Interesting. It does kind of look like Book of Night. It does. It's got like the same font treatment. I feel like kind of. Um, sorry, the ship night ship you tried <laughs> to sucker me at. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. It, it does. does. Oh, scared the crap out of me. Hi. Uh, made in June movie is usually a warning flag for me. Oh well, it's like mixed for me. All right, all right. Let's go. Did not uh, notice the small person standing mysteries. behind me. <laughs> I feel like I've never read the best. I never read the best mysteries because I'm like picky about what I like. Yeah. Um, I mean, 160 is amazing. Like, I think that's like that's a lot. What? I don't um, even know what I'm at. I read way more than most people, so it's like I don't look. Like, I'm, I'm reading. Not, I am not a good of, comparison. I'm reading Book of Night right now, and I think I read 150 pages last night, and I am like, do I DNF this? Do I care? Oh, not at I'm, all. See, I'm glad I. I did not. I heard the reviews and I was like, mm, mm -mm. I thought maybe, maybe since I did not like Cruel Prince, oh, see, I would I like it oh. because everyone's like, it's so different. And da, da, da. I'm like, okay, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. I didn't like Cruel Prince mm -hmm. very much. Yeah. I at least finished that one. <laughs> yeah. Marina audiobooks are huge. Yeah. 100%. Uh, 375. Wow. What am I, I, what am I actually at? Okay. Let me look. And I'm now at, I want to look. I'm at 320 right now for the year and like a little i think a, around ha at least half has been audiobooks so what am i at the author of butcher and the run does the morbid true crime podcast oh interesting okay. i'm at 76 the creepy cover <laughs> yeah 76 76 nice that's great Ashley Flowers is a true crime podcast person. Okay. See, I don't do true crime, so I would not know this. See, I do like true crime, but I don't yeah. really read it very mm. much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Is it indie? Oh, I don't know. Which one? The Which Butcher one? and the Wren? That or I know they were talking about Legends and Lattes up, so maybe. Oh, Legends, Legends and, and Lattes. Oh, Legends and Lattes got picked up was. by Tor. It mm -hmm. was indie. Tor is publishing it. I pre-ordered the tour version. Interesting. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, I read The Maid. <laughs> I read I've one heard, of I was these. supposed to be like, I've heard of that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I have read one of the best, best Ooh. mysteries. I'm like kind of interested in Paris Apartment, but I haven't heard many people talk about it. But like the cover draws me in. Yeah, the cover is cool. Um, so I don't know. Heat 2. Yeah, what even like, like what is it sounds like an 80s action movie title 1988 right? to 2000 i mean it yes it 100 does and it says 1988 on the cover so <laughs> oh my gosh oh the director of last of the mohicans and miami vice and he teams up with an author to deliver oh. his first novel so it's like by a like a filmmaker that's interesting okay you know what that's probably why it's on the list it's probably, probably. got, got pre-orders it probably got a lot of pre-orders because of that that's my guess definitely yeah but i think they throw mysteries in there i think it's just all kind of like i don't know i don't know how they're doing this fifth fantasy okay well we're not a fantasy yet we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> right you know i know we all like fantasy too um <laughs> patricia please don't feel bad we are no. not a good cross section to compare people to. no average person reads like two books a year so is it really yeah two my husband reads like mm. 
it depends like different times a year mine does has started does reading more read. the last couple of years <laughs> Bless you. yeah mine doesn't read unless it is like a training manual on whatever software he's using at uh, his shop and like learning about car stuff that i don't understand <laughs> He owns a performance automotive shop. That oh, wow. much yeah. I know. And he's yeah. always like continuing his education on it, but like Yeah. I don't know. He reads that stuff. Yeah. No, mine will read some stuff. He's like he'll do some sci-fi and fantasy, but mm-hmm. it's like it has to be like more action packed. Yeah. Um, so he's reading a couple series and stuff, but he'll he just like, you know, I don't know. What does he he probably reads <laughs> like ten books a year now or something. Yeah. So maybe something like that, which is it was great. I'm go school. I think it's Good. I'm trying to get my husband to read Kings of the Wild because it's like I know that that is something he would like, mm-hmm. but it's getting him to like have the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is interesting. The butcher mm. author and Ashley Flowers run true crime podcasts. One does the work; the other has been called out for stealing it. Ooh. <laughs> drama in the true crime podcast world right isn't it like every community has drama of some sort wow right? wow 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 morbid podcast is great interesting jessica excellent that's amazing i love it yeah i like the maid um i had like i feel like after the fact, I had like some mixed feelings because I heard some people who didn't love the way that it did the neurodiverse rep in it, but mm. um, but I did enjoy it while I was reading it. I think it's like I see why it did pretty well. The Paris apartment was just okay. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got, which is why I didn't get it. But Renee hated the maid. <laughs> good, good, good. Um, yes, we finally have a book from January, not something <laughs> that is only right. on pre order. Great. Heat is an action movie. Okay, okay. I also don't watch a lot of action movies, so like this is not like this is not my alley. No. Okay, somebody liked Paris Apartment, one of her better ones. Interesting. Interesting. It's all what you like, I guess. Heat Two is a sequel to a Michael Mann movie in the '90s with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. Oh. oh. So that makes oh. sense. But it sounds okay. like an okay, '80s okay. action movie. That is a hundred percent why. Michael I'm sure my movies, husband's watched I, it. I love that so many people know all of right? this combined sci-fi and fantasy. Of course. Always. Of course. And there's hmm. probably not actually sci-fi on there. It may be one. This is true. We are a horrible cross-section <laughs> for, like, number of books read. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. we're not... Like, please, I'm just like, people, please, like, don't, don't compare yourselves. Like, also, like, I mean, I do this as my job. So it's sort of mm-hmm. like, it's sort of, you know what I like to, I, I like, I've started comparing it to is it's like the people who review, review, like, movies professionally, mm-hmm. watch, like, a million movies, and nobody feels weird about that. Like, right. it's the same thing. Like, I read a ton of books, but it's, like, pretty much my job. So mm-hmm. it's not typical. Chantal, yes, uh, well, I, uh, yes, they deserve separate lists. Yeah, I am absolutely with you on that. Yeah, I, I mean, when my kids were really little, I think I read maybe one book <laughs> a year when they were really little. That's yeah. I mean, I stopped reading for a while when mm-hmm. I had my first kid, and YA fantasy and stuff got me back into it. So same, like. The Cinder, like the Lunar Chronicles yes. by Marissa Meyer was my like, I have a newborn baby and I want to get back into reading series. Yeah. <laughs> like reading with small children is just. It's, it's rough. It's really rough. rough. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, spicy Heather. Lucy Ooh. fully is to mystery what Riley Sager is to thrillers. Okay. <laughs> Don't just say. It does. But Carissa, you have like a lot going on. And if you counted all the books you read to your students, it's probably a lot more. So. Oh, yeah. Junior husband reads mm-hmm. Texas on the animals. Okay, I, we need to move on because I'm behind on the comments, but like everyone's looking at sci fi fantasy. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Here we go. Sci fi fantasy. Here's our, our. Okay. See, like this is. Okay. Uh, this is like a. I feel like a pretty solid start. Yeah, except for the Atlas Paradox is also not out. Not out yet. I'm so excited <laughs> for it, though. 
I did um, not like the first one, but I will oh, probably I, read the second okay. one. Okay. See, I love it, but I feel like but Leanna liked it. the Atlas Six. I think I gave it three stars. Like oh, it I was it. okay. See, I easily gave it five, but it's so my thing. Like, yeah. It's total. But yeah, but like for people who say Leanna doesn't like anything, she liked she did like the that. Atlas Six. She did. I'm excited about that. Um, I love Legends and Lattes. I she love Legends and Lattes. She did not like that, which I think is fine. I think she doesn't like cozy. Cozy is not. Doesn't her vibe. yeah, it doesn't seem like her vibe. Um, totally. Broken Blade. I want to try. That's from a, a book talker. Yeah, did, is where that came from. Um, is it okay. out yet? Though it is out. It yeah, out. it came out like a couple of months ago. Okay. Uh, I've heard mixed things, but yes. Let's see. A super reader is 12 or more books in a year. Is that? Wow. wow. All I can think of is that he says super reader and that's a like a kid's show on PBS. I forget that what it's called, fun. but they have like that a super fun. reader song. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Marina. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Okay, you're just selling me on this movie, though. <laughs> like, my husband watches, like, cheesy 80s and 90s, like, action. Like, he loves, like, the Arnold movies. and Like, that was him and his dad's thing. <laughs> so I've gotten sucked into quite a few of them. <laughs> they have a separate list separate. for horror. Okay, okay. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> totally stopped reading. Yes, yes, same. I would only do, like, on, on holiday breaks, I would let myself read for fun. Because otherwise, I just, I couldn't. Yeah. Grad yep. school killed me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Would not recommend. Mm -mm. You know what? As long as you were happy and enjoying yourself, like, it's fine. Yes. Atlas Paradox. Yeah. Like, not out. It's not out, but I'm not surprised, like, the, the pre-orders, because book talk. Right. Here's the thing, though. This was debated in a Discord. I meant, wait, what was deba debated? What? Oh, I have heard of it because I'm on TikTok and I know. I think so. And also, also, it was, I haven't listened to it, but I do have it because it was an in, uh, an influencer review copy from Libra FM. I don't always get to them. Yeah. All. I remember seeing the cover, but like what it's about, I couldn't tell you. It's a uh, fantasy and I think the author is indigenous, which is part of why I was interested. Mm. Um, but yeah. Yes. Who? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is the sci-fi on the next page? Good question. Great question. Probably. Oh, and the Tolkien is a special. So also the Tolkien one is probably on because of Rings of Power. Like that's yeah, definitely. That's why it's. Oh boy. Okay, Stephen. Let's let's look at the second half of the list. <laughs> oh. Ew, Book of Night. Really. Also, I'm... like, interesting. Yeah, uh, this is interesting. I mean, I mean, I really want to read Heart of the Sun Warrior. I really liked Daughter of the Moon Goddess. I haven't read it, but it is it was good. You know what? I'm excited because my patrons picked it for our January book club. The was prompt good. was, I was like, a like I had them suggest. I was like, a book you meant to read in 2022 and didn't, and that was the mm. winner because I am a planner. So we have our January book picked. Up. Yay! It's really good. I've been trying to get through all I'm my excited. like fairy loot and Illumicrate books. Before the end of the year. So that was one of them that I had. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Tolkien, this up and coming fantasy Brand author new. everyone should have on their radar. If you haven't heard of him, you have soon. Yeah. <laughs> Brand new. Jessica. Leanne doesn't like happiness. happiness. She yeah. just needs more plot, which is which is fine. It's not everybody's uh oh, interesting. That should be interesting. Yeah, same, Kristen. I have it mm. from Libra as well. I love to watch it from Lattes as well. Bethany's <laughs> a galaxy. Galaxy. Beth. Oh, galaxy. Yes. Oh, and man. of course, we have our Sarah J. Mass. Yeah, which, like, this is not one of her better ones. That's what I've heard. Like, I haven't read any of, I haven't read Crescent City either. Yeah, the first one I really loved. This one, it's one of those ones where I, like, did okay in the middle of it. But, like, now if I – like, I think I gave it four stars initially. And now I would probably give it a three, to be honest. Mm. But I don't think I have the same problems with it that some other people yeah. had. I know, um, like, is it – Jashana, I think, hated it. <laughs> yeah, there were people who really hated it. 
I didn't hate it, but I don't think it was among her. It didn't deliver what I go to her books for. Right. That's what I keep basically. hearing. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. I am also really glad. I hope we get more stuff like Legends and Lattes and like Becky Chambers yes. type stuff. Like the, yeah. I That's love fair. That. I think it might be from like an indie publisher though. So I give it a little grace. Um, I love, I love that I people love it. loved it. Thanks, Renee. Thanks. <laughs> Support. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm excited for Nona. I still haven't read it, but it is I coming have. soon. And then the world we make. Super excited. Oh, I'm so like... excited for the, I mean, and K. Jemison anything. Really? Like, right. Why is Book of Night on this list? I don't know. Book of Night was, I mean, I'm literally <laughs> just it. Yes. I think you're right. We need bedazzled capes <gasps> for our readership. Yes. I love yes. this. Love this idea. I would wear it everywhere. Beautiful. Uh, yes. <laughs> it was probably a dark age for many of us. Honestly. The worst. Yes. The Jasmine Throne. I, I loved it. Very... Four pre-orders on SFF. One was already out in Indie 4. Yeah. Yeah. Like Legends and Lattes at least makes sense because it was out indie, <laughs> and it did did really really well. And now they're yeah. sending him on tour, and that's exciting. So I'm really I'm pleased for him. Same, Shauna. Mm. So glad to see Tolkien is finally getting the big break. <laughs> it's been working so hard to get his name out there. <laughs> Uh, the world we make mm. is sci-fi. Nona the Ninth is sci-fi. Yeah, but they both have semi. They're kind it's, of crossover. They're yeah, crossover. They're sci fantasy. Yeah, I wouldn't say any of them. You know what? Didn't the Andy Weir book came out this year? At the beginning of the year, was that early was it this, this year? year, or was it last year? I don't know. The Hail Mary. Was that this year? Maybe. maybe. I'm not sure. Look, my my months are. <laughs> I blocked it out because I didn't like it. I'm like I'm like the unpopular. I haven't star. read it, but I just expected that. Yeah. Like, if it came out this year, to be on a sci-fi list. Yeah, yeah. I love Mira. Love Tamir and Jonas. So, yeah, yeah. This was definitely based on pre-orders. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. When is Heart of the Sun Warrior? I like didn't November. Really... It comes it out November? in November. Oh, so they're having it like really close to each other. That's yeah. interesting. I think the first book came out in like January or February. I think so. Something like that. It had to have because it's on my my Illumicrate fairy loot like sack. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Book of Night. Go give us nothing. Bro, I'm halfway through and I'm like wanting to. I'm just like, I can't finish this. I read the last chapter. Because I was like, I'm DNFing this, but maybe, yeah. like, I'll read something good in this last chapter and want to fin- No. I read it and I was like, this is stupid. Beth, I think Isabella really loved it, maybe. I don't know. I mean, like, I think the ending is exciting for people who've been waiting for Because she's been laying the foundation for the mm-hmm. ending of this book for, like, years and years and years in other books. Um, But, you know romance okay 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 all right romance romance <laughs> more of the best fiction of 2022 wait do we have horror? to click into it do i have to I, click into it okay. i think so all right let's check tell me why colleen hoover is like at the top definitely okay. are any uh, of these surprising okay so have i read okay i read love on the brain and i did not like it no I haven't read it, but I have her other one that I need to read. I liked the first one, but this is basically the same, except I liked it less. But some people feel the opposite, <laughs> where it's the same, but they liked it more. So depending on your taste. Um, I love, I'm happy for Katie Robert that this is on there. This is a bind up of indie published work that they just put together. It's oh. like, it's it's erotic vampire. It's, oh, it's I like didn't vampire know. erotic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I actually like, wanted to read that. I don't read a ton of romance, but I was like, that sounded interesting. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I think, it's, I think it's like three novellas or something like that oh. that were originally indie published. Um. <laughs> it, well, and I mean, to be fair, this series from her is more fantasy and is less romance so yeah. whereas like Agatar feels more romancy this one that the series doesn't um just sales yes accurate yeah I um this is interesting I have not read 
any of the things except Love on the Brain, which I didn't really like. And I'm like, slight. I may read Book Lovers at some point. I'm not that excited about it. I'm just like, none of these are the romance that I'm reading. But also, I feel like I don't read the blockbuster romance. Right. Much, so. Ever. It's funny, though, because Ever. I was like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's she been hiding? Like, you know, not, look, she's not everybody's thing. It's no. fine. It's fine. She's really not mine either. Like that's, that's fine for just like a fun, good time. Like, but look, I was drawn in by that the end book, and I was like, "What is that?" So I like brought it up on my screen. I'm like, "Oh, just kidding." Yeah, <laughs> pretty cover, and <laughs> no, and yes, yay for the cozy hope punk books. I absolutely love that. The world we make will be out very soon. It's coming out in November. I have it pre ordered. Yeah, it same. Yet. No capes. No capes. No capes. <laughs> They're dangerous. What? Hey, I don't want a cape. Right. No capes. It did come out last year. Like we always have to listen to the great, the great Edna Mode. Yeah. Okay. So Project Hail Mary <laughs> was last year. Was apparently. it? Yeah. My my timelines <laughs> are kind of fuzzy. Last year in May. <laughs> <laughs> was it? I don't know. My timelines are oh. fuzzy, y'all. So we good point. No queer rep. Yeah, that is. is that accurate? Um, no, that's not true. Uh, Katie Robert writes all of her all of her books have queer rep, and so oh yeah, Word of the Vampire Queen is like polyamorous, but the men also like like she also has men together. So I don't. I'm trying to think of any of the other ones. Allie Hazelwood writes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Love on the Brain is. Some of her other stuff is, has like ace characters, like demisexual characters. Um, and Ashley Poston is queer. So I don't know if Dead Romantics has queer rep, but it might. I think it does. So there is, there is some queer rep. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, Isabel. Yeah, the ending because of how many years. Fair enough. Dead Romantics was cool. Love the Katie Roberts series. Good. Okay. We're enjoying that. Yes, I agree with this. Um, yeah, this is not the best yeah. romance list. So I'm just so confused by Colleen Hoover being classified as romance. Uh, yeah. It just seems uh, sketchy to me. Mm -hmm. Like, agreed. is it really romance? Agreed, agreed. <laughs> like, both of Hazel, it's the same. Not at all, Heather. <laughs> Heather always with the spicy takes. Um, oh, yeah. The Dragon's oh. Bride is a spinoff. Yeah, so actually, too, I think all of her books pretty much exist in the same universe or as, as each other, which is interesting. I haven't read Emily Henry. Like her other books have just not appealed to me. Book lovers, I'm like kind of interested in, but I don't. I just I don't know. The covers. Oh cute. no! American Roommate Experiment was awful. Good. Okay. Good to know. Yes. Yeah, that's that yeah. Is, that's interesting. That is pretty interesting. Um. Wow. I'm to write home now. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I've heard, I've heard a lot. Like, oh, Leanna likes Emily Henry. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but her books to me sound more close like closer to women's fiction, which is a lot more hit and miss for me. I can like it, but I don't know, they sound kind of sad, which is just usually not what I go to romance for. Yes, no, that's not Isabella. Yeah. Really did not like book lovers. Okay, tell us more, please. Ghost romance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Myth and Monsters, I think it's true, is not out quite yeah. yet. Um, that cover is pretty and it draws it is, me in. It's oh, it's beautiful. I read something else by her and it was okay. Not my favorite. I don't know. We'll see. Right. Oh, that's interesting, Renee. All right. And uh, <laughs> okay, one, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is fair. Um, yeah. So there's, but you're right. There's not a lot of queer up here. That's, that? that's true. 
um, that would help. Mm. If you've also read the novellas, it's like, can you do anything else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, like, if you love what she does, is fine. But, like, I just feel okay about what it is. So I'm just like, I'm tired of this. I want something different. Like, all of your characters are sort of cookie cutter. Which, you know, again, like, can work for people. But I just wanted something different. Okay. Dead Romantic says queer side characters. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Lady Fur. Oh, I've heard good yeah. things about that. That was so good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really good. That one made me kind of cry. Uh, oh, yeah. Summoning up love. Cynthia Williams. Like, I'm always on a mission to make more people read her books because they're underappreciated. So focuses on the actual good relationship. Same, Malka. <laughs> All you needed was Barnes right? and Noble to lower your standards. <laughs> well, listen, I will be doing live streams for the Goodreads Choice. Yes! So hopefully it'll be much more interesting than this. Right. Um, although this has been pretty funny. Right, because it's most of them is like, mm, haven't heard of that one. <laughs> oh, it's not out yet. It's like one of the book lovers. <laughs> It doesn't. You never Something. know. You know that's the thing. You never know with her for sure. Like she reads things. I'm like, oh, she's gonna hate this, and she loves it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like she really likes okay. the the Takira Mafi series. I DNF'd it. I was Shatter like, I cannot, me, yeah. Shatter me. I'm like, I cannot read it. She likes so it. I loved Shatter me when I read it when it like first came out. So like I oh, was okay. a lot younger. Yeah, I can and see I. That. Only read the first three. I absolutely refuse to read the rest of them or reread it because it's just going to live in my nostalgia. Kind of like Twilight. It's just going to yeah. live in That's my fair. I read it That's at fair. the right time nostalgia. Because then Renee. I just read, what is it? This Woven Kingdom, her new uh -huh. one. Yeah. Not, not yeah. the best. Yeah. Renee, yes. This is Allie Hazelwood's books to a T. Big, huge guy. Itty bitty Itty little bitty woman. woman who's quirky quirky mm. little itty bitty woman like that is that uh, like and we're going to talk about the size differences all the time and i'm like okay mm. i mean she really does love adam driver yep which yep, same yep. but oh good Can't. love it uh right Lady for duke yeah Oh, Midnight Bargain has a good ace side care. Oh, that's great. Good to know. That is on my list of things to read. So good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Listen, like you're probably better off. It's fine. Right. It's you're not you're a great list, honestly. Off. I've not read most of these either. Um, this is what I heard that it's more romance, uh, yeah. which is part of why I've been like maybe more interested. But that's interesting. Um, no. <laughs> oh, sorry. I meant not literally abuse. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I couldn't do the writing style. For yeah. Uh, I think if I were to read it now and not like whenever it was published, when I was like, when was it published? Because I was young when I read that. Yeah. I feel like. How much of this live is like commenting on Leanna's? Who? Nobody oh, ever so knows. So much. I was surprised she liked that one too. Yeah, Honestly, same. that made me want to read it. Yeah, I had zero desire, and my friend sent it to me. So now I will yeah. read it. Oh, this is interesting, Stephen. I just couldn't get past like I couldn't even finish the first book because the writing style, her writing style, does not work with my brain. I think right. I've tried one of her middle grade books. I think Tahira Mafia is just not for me, which is fine. Like, okay, so it was published um, in two thousand eleven. Oh wow, that's the year I got married. So, so good. So <laughs> it was a couple of years before I got married. I was with yeah. my husband, but we weren't married yet. Yeah. But, like, it was before I had a child. So I want to say I read it probably around that time. And I was, like, in my early 20s. <laughs> I love this. Oh, God, size differences size difference. I'm in. That's the thing. Is like, some people really love that. So I guess that's the thing. Like, if you like the size difference thing, like, Allie Hazelwood, listen. Go. Yeah, she's your go-to. Yes. Um... Or if you just like Adam Driver. You don't have to tell me he's the size of John Fletcher. <laughs> no! No! 
Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, no, there should be more. I think we're getting a little bit more than there used to be, but yeah, it's, it's yeah, still... but there's still. Oh no, uh, this is so funny. Okay, fair. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Got it. Oh yes, yes. Oh, and it is as cover wild is. as you think. Like the because the dragons got you know two. Like a two peen okay. situation going on. <laughs> hmm. It's very interesting. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> yes. like it could be very. <laughs> it is interesting. Yep. Um, yes. Ooh. Shauna. Yeah, that kind of that is, and it's it's really good. It's really good. I agree, honestly. Dragon Sprite is a great cover. Like it is. It is. It's a pretty great cover. Uh, the gender uh -huh. nice different stuff. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting. Okay, he's quite yes, he is quite a quote. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. All right. So love it. Here's romance. Yeah. So far, um, I think Goodreads is definitely the besting Barnes and Noble, which is uh, which is saying something. Saying something. Do we want? I don't know enough about manga to do that. We I read horror. some, but everything I read that's manga is like backlist. Like I'm reading like My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer. So like okay. they've okay. been out for a minute. Yeah, we need different people for that. We'll look at horror and then I'll scroll down. And yeah, really interesting. Okay, this is so some of these are on my radar. Like Diary of Blood, I really want to read. <laughs> Uh, I really liked Dowry of Blood, and I loved What Moves the Dead. I love that it's I really want to read What Moves the Dead. It's really good. I think especially if you liked Mexican Gothic, it kind of okay. has similar vibes to that um, to a certain extent. But it's different. It's a retelling. It's a novella, and it's a retelling of um, a short story from Poe, Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, yeah. It's really good. I want it. Yeah. Uh, so I liked that. I read Little Eve and didn't, I, I, I just, I don't know. Like, I don't like trauma being used mm -hmm. for shock value. Uh, yeah. Uh, or for like twists. I like it done more carefully and like, I'm okay with there being on page trauma. Um, yeah. I didn't love how Little Eve did it. So that mm. was kind of my, um, oh, okay. We already read that. Jessica tell us more <laughs> right like <laughs> just don't uh demonetize uh so right not here right. In this, but... okay okay so uh, i don't okay. feel bad about not looking at the manga then that's fine i mean i can guess at least one that's on there is probably like the spy x family because that's like huge yeah. right now but I haven't read it or watched it. Yeah, I like that this is uh yeah, so Dowry of Blood last year oh, yeah. came out indie and this year it got picked up for traditional. That's why it has a new cover. Mm -hmm. So that's why you might see it on multiple lists, kind of like Legends and Lattes also yeah. started indie and then got picked up. And I'm pretty sure Dowry of Blood is going in either Fairy Loot or Illumicrate. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's in a box. Cool. Yeah, I really liked it. Um, so I'm excited. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> to see what moves the day. Oh, are they turning it into a movie? That would be super or just crazy. to see it on the list. Oh, yeah. Oh, just to see it on the list. That might be what she meant. I'm like, oh. Or if they're turning it into a movie, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I've been hearing people talking about White Horse, that it's really good. It's from an Ooh. indigenous author. And that I think is cool to see on the list. I actually yeah. do think that this list is better than some of the other ones. I'm interested in Paul Blair Bear's Club. I like Paul Trump, yeah. but I haven't read that one. Um, it's all <laughs> from the chat the way it should be. Yes, yes, yeah. <sighs> it's it's good, but it's a uh, it's pretty short. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I always I like agree. seeing when small indies get picked up, though. Oh, it's just yeah. makes me feel good. No, yeah, like it makes me happy for them. Dowry of Blood is really good, yeah. Uh, yes. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is why. 
Okay. Eric LaRocca has extreme horror in a good way. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh, yes. Okay. I have, I, you know, is, is, I, I feel like I've seen people read stuff from him. I think actually his stuff's taken off a little bit on TikTok. So. It's, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really cool. I, yeah, I've been hearing good things about White Horse. It is from an indigenous author. I think there's a signing near, be, near me. I'm like, if I'm, if I'm available, I'm kind of tempted to go do it. It's like a great, like, kind of noir looking cover. It is a good cover. Yeah. There's a reason Diary of Blood got picked up. Yeah. I, yeah, I get that because like i don't he might be a little too much for me spy family is it does awesome. look so yeah. cute does it looks adorable yeah but i have so much that i'm in the like the middle <laughs> of that i'm like i can't start another one um yeah i don't know about much about the rest of these like the hollow kind mm -mm. that's kind of an interesting cover it is i remember seeing I sign see. here but i don't know what it like i just remember have seen the cover and mm -hmm. i'm like oh that looks yeah i don't know it's interesting okay i'm gonna scroll down yeah white horse that's a good point this is also a uh still not out <laughs> it's a pre-order it's coming out like in a week though yeah this is like a pretty good horror list though like this isn't bad like i'm Yes, and horror actually appears to match the category. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yep. 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 Daddy, Daddy tour. tour. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yeah, I hear they're really intense. I'm yeah. not sure they're enough. For I could me, probably but... not. Lizzie, I like the new cover too. I like both of them. They're very different. I do yeah. Think, I do think the new cover is more, uh, for the market that they're selling it in. If that makes sense. Don't get the spy <laughs> family. Interesting. Interesting. Same. I. Yes, this is how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> None of this. Who indeed would have I know, we right? This list, yeah. And then it's actually horror. Yeah, I was not the biggest fan of Leave. I haven't heard anybody else talk about it yet, but mm -mm. No. you win a bronze star, Barnes and Noble, but only for horror. <laughs> only for horror. Uh, Oh, sign here was a book of the month pick. Okay, okay. that's probably why okay. I've seen it somewhere. That explains it. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, good things about hidden picture. Cool. <laughs> Andrew, right? How ironic the horror category is least the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I yes. Mm. Well, that's what I hear. Um, for me and little Eve, uh, I didn't like her use of child abuse. Mm, yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it is a lot. Like there is a lot of all sorts of child abuse. Mm. Uh, yeah. Physical, psychological, spiritual, sexual. Like there's just, there's a lot of child abuse. So. Doesn't sound like anything I have an interest in. Yeah, that's a lot. Don't forget. Oh yes, we need oh, to yeah. check out why. This might be why, actually, why it's a better list because it's like True. not as big of a a thing. This is what I heard about Needless Street, which is why I didn't pick it up. Yeah, and like this uses child different things with child abuse as twists and I did not like it mm. yeah Renee yeah I'm glad I could help other people I almost DNF'd it but uh I have it on we don't know for sure but I'm I'm guessing based on last year it's going to be around November 19th that's when they announced last time so I oh yeah to have it on my schedule for doing like a live for it so we'll see we hope that one's better yeah, because there are so many fantasy books that like I read that I'm like, oh, these were so good. no, not on there. Like, why? Yeah, I think th I think do you think Goodreads is going to be better? Um, I mean, they, the bar's still, the bar's pretty low. Yeah, 
I read so few memoirs. I am not going to look at all of these. I really don't like, either. I read I'm glad my mom died, but that's kind of. Yeah. I mean, the Tom Felton one looks interesting. Yeah. Will I read it? Probably not. Okay. But we, but we can look at. Uh, oh, there's Young Readers and YA. And, teen YA. <laughs> and oh, then Colleen yay! Hoover in Espanol. The Sunbearer Trials is fantastic. Oh, I want to read that one. It's really good. Like, it is very YA, but, like, really well done. Yeah. Like, I'm like, it's clearly written for teenagers, so I really, um, I really like it. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know some people did really like it. Uh, I just like that kind of twist. I don't love. They do have YA. Renee, we're here. We're here. We have we're on, well, we're on YA. I think there was a middle grade, but they called it she like did young not know reader. She, no, 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 no. It was, they had Spanish language next they to it. They did have Spanish. Now, why Hoover. they put it, why did they put that next to the children's books? I don't right. know. I don't know. They do have picture books too. Yeah. No. They have a Shana, picture books I'm, category. Yep, they do. Did Colleen Hoover do a picture book this year? I hope not. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yes, The Honeys. I really want to read. That is actually, I, I own a copy and haven't read it. Shamefully. I also shamefully haven't read Gallant. And I I was going to say that, like, I have, like, two copies. I think I actually gave one copy to my niece. But, like, I had multiple copies from book boxes. Yeah. And I love V.E. Schwab. Like, I love yep. everything I've read from her. Yeah. I saw <laughs> She's like hit and miss for me, but I never dislike her stuff. Like yeah. I always either like it or really anyway. So I want to read Gallant. Yeah. I need to. Uh, I think it's a standalone too. Yeah. Which. I think so. Yep. Thank you. Uh, I have heard we deserve monuments. I've heard some good things about that. Yeah, I agree with this. Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a lot of nostalgia. Right. Like I just want that just because. Yeah. Like. I love that the honeys is on here. Also, oh, a scatter of light is the new Melinda Lowe book, which I don't think is out yet. Maybe, but um, that one is probably queer. So I've heard really good things about her other book, which is on my TBR, but I haven't read it. Okay, five survive. People are excited about, but it's not out yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, literally, that would be. No. If she did a picture book. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I still think it's wild that it's like, let's make a, a YA category where it's like, this is an age range, not a genre. And we're just going to put all the YA genres in there. Yeah. All yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. No, not Tiffany yeah. D. Jackson. I think it's weird that First to Die at the End made it. Didn't I that just like come out or is it? It just came out and I feel like it's a weird book to write a sequel to, but I guess. Okay. Yeah. I didn't read the first one. I, I did. Like, it was okay. It was sad. I don't yeah, know. I don't think, I didn't I don't like I like Adam Silvera, but I don't think his writing is really my yeah. thing. I didn't want to read it because I'm like, that just sounds ridiculously sad. Oh no. I've heard like I feel like I've people love or hate Gallant. Mixed. Like people yeah. like some people loved it and others don't. Oh, five survives not out till December. What? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I've heard a lot of mixed things. Oh, Belladonna was good. Okay. Okay. I've heard that that one's good. I want to yeah. say it was Elliot Brooks that was just talking about oh, it. Yeah, and I was I like, ooh. Right. I think that's right. I've got to say, I think Sunbearer Trials might be... Okay, well, I take that back, actually. You know what is book should be on this list, I think, that's missing, is uh, All My Rage. Oh, I yeah. sub it to here, which sold a ton, too, so I'm kind of surprised. Did. That's one that I feel like is is missing. Oh, no. that's a bummer. Bummer. Oh, no. I've heard so many mixed things. Yeah. But The Sunbearer Trials is probably my other favorite YA that I've read this year so far. It's like, it would be, yeah, I think that's it. Like, all my, I think actually, All My Rage. I feel like I think only two YA books have actually made my favorites list this year. Like it keeps getting yeah. smaller. <laughs> oh, is it a sequel? I didn't know if it was. That's interesting. Oh yeah, be severe. I have that on my to read before end of year show <laughs> right uh, now. 
does it really? I'm just not that, you know what? Like I didn't love the original series. Yeah. Like, I liked the first book, but I didn't like the other two. So I have not wanted to pick these up, but I think there is a big fan base for them. So I think so. Like I haven't read Caraval at all yet. And I have all of them. I haven't read it. And I have Ballad of Never After because it came in a book box, but I'm like, I'm not going to read it until I read the others. Yeah. But I feel like it's probably on this list because it has a big fandom in, like, the first ones. Yeah. So, um, like, it makes sense. Renee, the, the third book is The First to Die at the End, which is the sequel to They Both Die at the End, or maybe a prequel. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I just feel like it's an odd Having read it, I think it's an odd book to write a sequel to. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing some good things about The Way to Blood, actually. So that was one that I was kind of waiting to hear people's thoughts. There's just so many that I'm like, why aren't they on here? If Gallant was a middle grade. I have heard it reads more like I've that. heard it reads middle grade. Yeah, All My Rage is amazing. I feel like it should be on there. Yes, Sunbear Trials is fantastic. It's so much fun. I feel yeah. like he's getting better as an author as well. Um, and I think this one is a blast. I'm so glad to see it um, Yeah, do well. Like, there's so many that I'm like, okay, what about, like, because I just finished Blood Scion. And I'm like, that. Oh, that one's intense. It, it was, was intense. It's I'm very... still like, how is this YA? But. Yeah, it's really violent for YA, I feel yeah. like. But, but it was still really good. Mm -hmm. And um, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. I'm pretty sure that one's adult. Uh, but, like, I think that's adult, yeah. It was still really good. Yeah. And has not gotten the love. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Steven, this is interesting. Six out of ten of these are Barnes & Noble oh, exclusives. Oh, of course they are. Of course they are. Of course. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is sort of a sequel set 60 years later addressing gay marriage. What? What? That 60 is years. so weird. Hmm. That, is, that is an interesting choice, but okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, and Stardust Thief. That's another 2022 one that was, like, really good. Yeah, but that's also not YA. True. Is it not? No. It's kind it's of not. in the middle. I, I could see but it, it was sold, either Yeah, way. but it was sold by Orbit. It's an adult Oh, movie. that's right. Yeah. Well, it should have been on their adult release, adult fantasies, because I haven't read it yet. I it was be. good. I really it's liked good. it. I'm reading it. Uh, it was like a patron pick for me to vlog for them for <laughs> November. <laughs> so I'm reading it. I feel like November. if you like City of Brass, it has I did. City of Brass okay. vibes. Good to know. Oh, These Fleeting Shadows. Actually, yes, oh, yeah. I loved yeah. These Fleeting Shadows by Kate Alice Marshall. Very good. Very good. Oh, a prequel about the first year of the... Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. I just really feel like that book stood alone. And sometimes I'm like, I side-eye things that I'm like, was there... I don't know. I mean, it's fine. Like, whatever. Do you. I just... I'm just, I'm just not interested because I feel like I was satisfied with what the book was. So... Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I Lizzie, I think this is based on pre-orders. It has to and be book sales. Um yes. Shit. Accurate. Oh, did they? Good. Okay, let's look at kids. Oh yeah. Uh, Alright. I've been really loving some middle grade lately. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like middle grade is hit and miss for me, mm -hmm. um, but some of it can be. It's definitely hit or miss, but. Yay, Amari. I love to see Amari on there. I do, too. I haven't read that one yet. I picked it up, but we haven't gotten to the second Same. one Same. Yeah, I'm doing a reread of the first one first, so. Yeah. yeah, my I'm currently, well, I'm waiting for my daughter to be ready to read it, because mm -hmm. she's reading A Pinch of Magic, I think, right now. And then we're going to read Amari together and then read the second one. Nice. Yeah. We've been like re making our way through different things, which has been yeah. fun actually. Yeah. It is. When they're old enough to like get yeah. it, you're like, yeah. You know what's actually really funny we're reading? I had like a random mark of it from a, a show from a few years ago, but we're reading The Last Last Day of Summer by Lamar Giles. Oh, how and is it? And it is 
super entertaining. Ah! It's, it's it's really funny. So I'm sure definitely not surprised that there's like a cat kid. No, of course there's a cat kid. There's gotta um, be and a wimp diary of a wimpy kid. Yep. Like and a hocus pocus. Yeah. <laughs> the movie. Of um yeah. Keeper of the Lost Cities. Yep, of course. Keeper of the Lost Cities would be on here. My daughter loves The Last Kids on Earth. Huh. Cool. I don't know what book that one is in the series, but, like, she's been reading... She read, like, the first one. Good to know. Uh, It's illustrated. It's the... I think it's the illustrated... uh, They probably made it... Kid-friendly. Yeah. The illustrated novelization. Hmm. I mean... Cute, I guess. I don't know interesting yeah i mean i feel like i don't know what two degrees is but like i feel like this is no overall oh poppy alexander has a uh, a book on here that's cool i haven't read it but that's cool um okay we'll have to look at picture right (laughs) yes they're so good amari is amazing they just yeah i think i mean i think that's it's book eight of Last Kids. Somebody knows. Oh, okay. Love it. Love I it. think my daughter's on like the fir- the second one. This is, so this is interesting. I think this middle grade list, like having kids that are reading middle grade makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, because I think this rep- is pretty representative of a lot of what kids in this age group are actually picking up. Like, I like agree. a lot of it does anyway. Like I think... Basically, like Keeper of the Lost Cities, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Cat Kid, Cat Kid. Last Kids on Earth, uh, Amari, and Skondar. All I'm like, yes, yeah, those are hundred percent. Like, and then Hocus Pocus, I think, just because of the the sequel movie, the movie coming out. Like, I like that. This is, I think, pretty representative of things that definitely are picking up. Because so. I mean, like the Cat Kid, Dog Man, like, yep. It's a huge. Yep. <laughs> yep. Was it like the Captain Underpants? Yeah. Ca- oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. <laughs> oh god. Yep. <laughs> um. They like what they like. They as do. do we, as do we. <laughs> so it's fine. Um. Yes. Hocus Pocus. Probably because of the new movie. Mm-hmm. That's my guess. Um. It. Yeah. 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 Um. I don't I think so, but I think it's just sales. It doesn't say, but I think it's sales. Oh, that's interesting. Two degrees is using climate oh. change to collected young people. That's pretty interesting. I will say, like, I think my kids at least are like much more in tune with like the environment and climate change than mm-hmm. I was. So I don't know. Oh yeah. Yes, adults and yeah. I mean, adults and teenagers yeah. are reading Rick Riordan. And I don't know of a lot of actual kids that are reading it him as much. I think it depends on the age range. Because, like, I know, like, my daughter's nine. She'll yeah. be ten in March. And I have all the Percy Jackson books. Uh-huh. But she's not – she's a little bit behind because of her dyslexia. Yeah. But also, like, she's not ready to read those yet. Because, like, they would be too advanced a for a more, nine, ten-year-old. Yeah. They're a little more mature. My – um. Like, my eight-year-old started the first one and just didn't get super far. And we've, like, read a little bit, but we haven't made it far. So I think they're just not quite ready for them. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it falls on the older end. It's like, the older end of eight to 12-year-olds. Yeah. So I feel like it's it, while it is middle grade, it kind of gets pushed to that, like, yeah barrier, whatever. Yeah. Um, we're not oh, no, we love him. Uncle Rick. Like, we like him. <laughs> it's It's just that, like in terms of the like I mean I guess this is the thing is it's like if I'm going and like kids are asking for what book they want it's gonna be like yeah (laughs) Captain Underpants Diary Mm -hmm. of a Wimpy Kid like I don't know like it's like that's the stuff they're asking for so it is or like for my kid like nonfiction Minecraft guides oh god we have a whole set of Minecraft guides. That's all he wanted for his birthday this year. I love that. Minecraft guides. It's like, okay. All right. My daughter's in a Minecraft club after school. And she is the only girl in this club. Listen. And she likes to come home and tell me every time. And I'm like, 
<laughs> she needs to recruit some more girls. That's what I said. I was yeah. like, just go talk to your aunt Caitlin because my sister in law is an engineer. I'm mm -hmm. like, she was the only girl in half of her classes in college. Yeah, we need more of that. Honestly, like, agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm like, yeah, I'll support your decision. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Uh, okay, let's take a look at picture books real quick. Picture book. <sighs> okay. I have not read any of these. I have um, either. But... I've seen the pigeon books around. Like I think mm -hmm. that's a whole. Oh yeah, it's number eleven in the series. Like those those I've seen around. Um, the Night Owl does look really looks, cute. It does look cute, and the year I look to fly looks that good. Look but yeah, cute. I haven't, I have not read any of these, so I haven't either. But they all look so cute. I don't know. In middle school, mm. I can see that. I think that's the thing is it's like the like we both we have like elementary school age children mm -hmm. who are on the lower end of. Of middle grade, so yeah, yes, um, yeah, Heather, I agree with this. I think that's like that's I great. know that she'll definitely be reading them, probably. <laughs> like just knowing yeah. her taste, like yeah. she's gonna be reading them. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Pick up years, <laughs> Stephen. I think this is accurate. <laughs> Books you want to send to others that no one ever actually reads. Yeah, yep, yeah. Seems seems correct. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I haven't yeah. even finished the original series. I just Same. start like I read the first couple recently for the first time. I was also a little too old for Percy Jackson. I feel so like I, I was too. I missed that train at mm -hmm. the appropriate age. Same. Yeah. Oh, oh good. That's great. I, love I know. That. I love it. We have Aaron Slater Illustrator. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lot of commentary on this. Like, I have read some picture books, but I haven't read any of these, so. Yeah, most of the ones I have are, like, you know, old one. Good Night Moon, and. Oh, yeah. We have some newer stuff, but it's, like, a little random. Um, And they're just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if there's Best anything else. Books. Like, or, yeah, like, okay, I don't. I just want to know, does anybody else have, like, a large collection of cookbooks that you literally never open because you get all your recipes on Pinterest? Just me. <laughs> I have like a couple, but because I know I won't use them, I just don't yeah. buy them anymore. I don't are these anymore. The gift but... books, an American in Provence. Are these all just like coffee table books? The they art look of like wild it. things. It's all like coffee. I think it's all like coffee table books. It has to be. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, basically, ooh, best audiobooks. Oh. The you know, I'm surprised that. I didn't see Paul McCartney's book anywhere on here because like that was all over my Barnes and Noble. Oh, this is interesting, Steven. Yeah. I didn't know that. Let's see that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Aww. Mm. Yes. <laughs> the gift books of rating six. Right. Like yeah. what are those? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I used to get a bunch from like the Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> oh, wow. That's funny. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I have some, and I literally make the same like six meals every week. It's like Monday is spaghetti. Yeah. Taco I mean, Tuesday. <laughs> listen, you find things that work that your children will actually yeah. eat, and that's what you do. Yeah. Because every time I try something new, I'm like, ooh, this is a cool, fun they're recipe. Not. They're like, this is gross. Yeah. Until they get used to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I listened to the It Girl, and it was good. I am going to listen to Nona the Ninth, and I can mm. let you know how it goes. And uh, I know they re-recorded Court of Thorns and Roses, but what's annoying about it is they did a full cast, but now you have to oh. buy two audiobooks Ew. for one book. It's, like, gonna... divided into sections, which I'm like, that is, no. no. I was <laughs> going to be like, why is Akatar on here? But that it's, makes sense, at least, it's, that it's re-recorded. Re but it's one of two. Like, they're... Ew. You have to pay for two audiobooks to get like I'm like no I'm not I'm not doing that I don't no. think so <laughs> ew <laughs> no 
they did push the crap out of the Paul McCartney book. I'm I not going to lie. And I was I'm like, not... who is actually buying this? I don't know. <laughs> I went to a Paul you. McCartney concert okay. with my mother this year. Okay. Okay. Fair. So fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. My next um, tattoo is my full leg and it is all Beatles themed. So <laughs> you are the target audience. I am the target this. audience for anything Paul McCartney <laughs> or John Lennon. But I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing that, huh? Yes. I'm not using two credits yes. either. And it's only six hours. See, I think they want more money because they hired all these actors. They did like, and yeah. I'm like, no, no, I don't care enough for that. I don't think so. It's yeah, that's wild. Yeah. The first half is six hours. No, I'm Ow. not like, like I'm not spending th what, what, like $30. On, yeah. No, no. I, yeah. Anyway. Um, and here are the other audiobooks. I have not listened to any of them, so, okay. Yep. <laughs> Shauna. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yes, Kristen, I think this is accurate. Hardcore fans are going to pay it. I'm not yeah, going to. I'm not. Like, no. That's just for enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, That's I think we have, like, pretty fully explored. <laughs> <laughs> All the books that have them, All we have no idea the, where they are. The very and... not good Barnes & Noble lists. And hopefully this is getting everyone really hyped for the Goodreads Choice Awards because they're going to be so much better. <laughs> the, it can only go up from here. It can only go up from here. Yes. Yes. I will. Yes. Steve. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I just love mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> well this was fun thank you everybody for joining us mixed, uh, feelings. mixed feelings the barnes and noble experience <laughs> yes yes it can very easily go down from here oh no oh no <laughs> I hope not. yeah uh, renee i think it's going to be better at least for the first round like the winners are always questionable are often questionable but like at least the first round, usually they have some good, mm -hmm. some good things. Yeah, most of my favorites weren't on there either. So I know. Yeah, this was fun. It Thank was you, everybody. Fun. Thanks, Jesse, for joining. Yeah. Um, I will be back in a couple of days with some stats on Q three. So woo, <laughs> it'll be fun. Okay.